Gaspology, oh, Gaspology, Gaspology, oh, Gaspology, Gaspology, oh, Gaspology, Gaspology, oh, Gaspology, Gaspology, oh. Jesus turned water into wine. It's amazing. Jesus even healed the blind. It's amazing. How all the planets are aligned. How all chemicals are designed. Teaching the gospel with a scientific twist. All of his miracles are magnificent. Teaching the gospel with a scientific twist. All of his miracles are magnificent. Oh, gospelology, gospelology. Well, hello, all my boys and girls out there in internet land. It's ProMac, and I'm so excited that you're here right in the Gospelology Lab. Wow, what a great day of lessons, and actually for the last couple of weeks. You know, I've been wanting to do this one experiment for a minute now. Yeah, you know, because I noticed that in our past two weeks, we've been watching in the stories in the Bible where people were afraid or they didn't have faith or they were just kind of like having bad days. And, and I wanted to come in the laboratory and show you something that you can actually do right at home. You see, I want you to help me out with something. Okay, I'm going to do a little experiment here to show you how Jesus helps us to stay calm, how Jesus helps us to not be sad and not be depressed. Yes, we're going to have those days sometime. We are. But Jesus is always there with us as long as you have him as your forever friend. Mm -hmm. And he'll bring comfort in your storms. Oh, yes, he will. Oh so Promac just wanted to show you how that will happen. Okay, let's say this. This cup right here represents you. That's right. That's you. <laughs> this right here represents our fears. Yes, all of the things that are going on and all of the stuff that has us all worried and stressed out. That's this. Mm -hmm. And this right here is Jesus. Ooh, the oil. Ooh. Miss La Latrice is going to be telling you about that in the Bible story one day. And Promac is going to talk about the oil when we come in the laboratory. Okay. And it's a whole nother story about this oil. But Jesus is the oil. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to pour our troubles and all of our worries into us. Here we go. Lord have mercy. Woo, I ain't know I was going to do that. Woo, I need some Jesus. <gasps> Whoa. What happened when I poured Jesus in there? It just went down. Did y'all see that? Wow. How do you think that oil reacted to our chemical reaction to where it broke it down like that and calmed it down like Jesus does with us. Can you answer that question for me, boys and girls? What did you see happen when I poured the oil in there? That's right. It went down. It began to settle. Yeah, that's how Jesus is in our life. When we have all kind of disruption going on <laughs> and the things are going bad, just like when they were in the boat and Jesus was sleeping, the water was clashing and the storm was coming and Jesus just said, peace be still, everything, the wind stopped, everything stopped. And just like when Simon and Peter and them went out in the boat and they were like, we didn't do, we can't go out here no more. We already fished, we didn't catch anything. But then when Jesus went with them, they caught tons of fish, right? That's because when you have Jesus and you have faith in him, he calms your storms. That's right. And so I wanted to know that this is, I wanted you to know that this is something that you can do right at home. Yes, you can. You can do this same experiment right at home. All you need is a little bit of vinegar. That's right. And some oil. That's right. Just regular cooking oil. And some baking soda. That's right. And you just need some cups. That's right. And you're going to put your vinegar in your cup. Only about two inches. Okay. Okay, you got like about one inch. And then you got about another two, so we'll put a little bit more. 
and there's about two inches. And then you're going to use one tablespoon of baking soda. And one tablespoon of oil. Right at home, boys and girls. So every time when you're feeling sad or depressed, okay, and you want to know how Jesus can calm your storm or calm you down, think about this experiment, okay? So again, here we go. Are y'all ready? I know y'all like doing that. Here's our vinegar. That represents us, remember? And here is the powder of all of our troubles and fears and anxiety and worries. And we pour it in here like this. Woo! But then we got Jesus. Look at that. Look at how Jesus just took that. Oh, I just love my Jesus. Oh, he's so amazing. That's right. He just calms it right down. Yeah. So like you said, you could do those at home. Now, remember, boys and girls, you're probably wondering, how did that happen? <laughs> well, you ever hear of that thing that says oil and water just don't mix? <laughs> well, that's kind of like what happened. You see, what actually happened is the vinegar and the oil come together after we put in the sodium bicarbonate. You remember baking soda is just sodium bicarbonate. And then when we have the sodium bicarbonate that reacts with the vinegar, remember that's called a chemical reaction and it creates carbon dioxide, that's right. And so when we have carbon dioxide, because you know inside of that it's bubbles and it's filled with oxygen you remember we talked about that in the laboratory boys and girls before it was so amazing well we add oil and see oil is a solid base that's right you see that it's a it's a liquid base but it actually carries solids solids inside of it and it's heavy and so as we pour the oil in with our sodium bicarbonate and our vinegar that created carbon dioxide, it sucks up all the air and it sucks up all the oxygen inside those bubbles. That's why you see all the bubbles that come up and it created the carbon dioxide? Well, the oil actually sucks up that inside of it. Yes, it does. And it weighs it down and it takes it down and calms it just like Jesus. That's right. So I love this. I love this experiment. And like I said, you can do it right at home. When you're feeling worried, it actually make you laugh too. <laughs> I was like, whoa, I was happy to get that oil in there this first time because it was just bubbling, going crazy. That was really scary. But you don't have to be scared, boys and girls, because Jesus has you. And you know, it's okay sometimes to be scared. I have a question. What are you sometimes afraid of? Hmm, yeah, Promac 2, yeah. Well, I would love for you to write me and let me know. Just go over to gospelologyclub.com and send me a little note saying what you're afraid of because Promac would love to pray with you, okay? Boys and girls, it was so great being with you inside the laboratory today. I can't wait to see you next week. I have a big surprise for you. <laughs> Literally a big surprise for you next week in the laboratory. So boys and girls, Promac just wants to pray with you real quick before you leave. Can we do that? Let's pray. Hello, God. It's me, Promac. And Lord, I thank you for all the boys and girls out there today who may be afraid hmm, or may have fears or doubts or worries. Lord, we thank you for being the oil in our life that calms everything down. So, Lord, as we walk with you and we your, stay your forever friend, continue to be with us and guide us so that we know even with you and when we are afraid that you're walking right beside us through everything that we're going through and that sooner or later, you'll calm us down. We love you, God, and we promise we'll talk to you again before the end of the day. In your precious son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, Promac will see you next time here on the Gospelology Show.